about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Pain around the hand area. The Lord is healing someone right now. You came with severe pain severe pain in the name of jesus christ now i'll not take too much of your time i'm seeing a woman in a vision will be seated shortly but i'm seeing god is showing me someone one two three four five five years you're trusting god for the fruit of the womb who is that person five years if there's such a person please make sure that you fit this description let there be order in the house of god the Lord is asking me to pray for that person. Who is that? Hmm. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here. The woman I'm talking about is wearing blue. You are wearing a blue dress. Set our heart. Please get something and so you will do what you do. We need a move. We need a move. Madam, what's your name? Please, please stand up. I'm not. Hold on. Please, can you help her so that she doesn't? I'm going to pray for you. Don't just come out at random. Where are you from? Edo State. Who is Mercy? Mercy. What's your name? No. Hold on. I'm not talking about. Um, there's somebody called Mercy. I'm going to pray for you. Mercy. You are wearing blue. You are in, not up to. Who is there? Someone like that? The Lord wants. Come. Your life is about to change, my dear. What do you do? Can we have another mic, sir? Is it, is it okay? This is what happens when you come to the house of God. What's your name, my dear? Mercy. Don't cry. Look at me. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. In this season, the Lord is doing a new thing in your life and even in your family. I stretch my hands by the God of heaven and I pray, by the power of the Holy Spirit, shift to a new level. Help her, please. Shift to a new level. In the name of Jesus Christ. My sister, give her the mic. Who is blessing? I'm a wardrobe consultant. Uh-uh. I didn't say what do you do. What's your name? Blessing, Sarah Oyinkat. That's why I said who is blessing? I want to pray for you. There is something the Lord wants to take out of your stomach. I hope you are not embarrassed. Huh? Because you have been crying and praying. And you had a dream. And part of your prayer was that you will meet me today. Is that true? Yes, sir. This is what you were praying about. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. It's not about me. Just like our father has taught us. We are only agents that make these things happen by the spirit. I want to pray for every one of you here. That you will, by this time, recharge 2022. In the name that is above all names. The power of God will come on one of you 
and then that grace for fruitfulness will just rest the conference says multiply this is what the lord is showing me don't mind me let me just do my crazy thing on the stage here the power of god now one of you in front right now the anointing of the holy ghost is coming upon you among those who are standing here that is the sign god is giving me for the healing power of jesus christ to flow to these people thank you jesus right now in the name that is above all names i decree and i declare from my left to my right even by the leading of the spirit let there be supernatural healing i don't care what the medical condition is in the name that is above all names madam is your husband here calling don't feel embarrassed husband i want to pray for you this is not even about fruit of the womb this is god lifting him who is, is wearing like ox blood this is what i'm saying is there someone like you're her husband what do you do sir just nice no just hold them don't give them the mic if you give them the mic they won't give you back well you do business do you believe in jesus one two three count three months from today you will come and stand on this altar the way god will change your life it will surprise you and as i'm speaking to him by the spirit i declare over everyone here everything keeping you in the same position by prophecy we push you into the next level we push you into the next level we push you into the next level no power in existence will stop you from making progress in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so i speak to you and your wife as the lord has revealed to me in the name of jesus madam look at me shout jesus as loud as you can help her that is the end of captivity in the name of jesus i pray for every one of you standing here trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name that is above all names i join my faith with your pastor the angel over this house and we prophesy to you according to the time of life return with miracle children according to the time of life return with miracle children in the name of jesus christ please return back to your seat rejoicing hallelujah you're going to be seated but the lord is asking me to release the grace for speed truly there is such a grace that can make people and bring acceleration dominion over time is real dominion you can have dominion over things but the zenith of dominion is dominion over time because the unit of destiny is time hallelujah I pray for you now please whether you are an usher or not you don't have to bring them out but just help them because people will begin to run as i pray this is a character of the administration of this grace and so that there's no chaos father over global impact church the centers connected and those who are following from around the world there are men and women here in ministry in business who are trusting God for speed. I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands over you. Global Impact Church, the membership, in the name of Jesus and everyone who has come to celebrate at this recharge conference, may the mantle and the grace for speed rest upon you. Take that grace now. Help them please. Take that grace now. Please help this woman. Take that speed 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 in business dominion over time dominion over time dominion over time i declare speed no delay speed 10 years help her help that woman help that woman please 10 years in one year 10 years in one year one year in one month Ten years in one way in the name of Jesus hear me and every power that has tied you down so that you will not move forward by the power of the Holy Ghost 
we command them destroyed now we command them destroyed now speed in ministry speed in business speed in achievement please open your mouth in one minute and receive it receive it as a prophetic word go ahead the righteousness of faith speaks receive it you came to church let it be so let it be so let it be so that here at recharge conference i was ignited speed to my destiny in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now please thank you for your patience standing i'd like you to join me one more time for this session honor the angel over this house and his precious wife pastor yemi davids thank you sir i do not take it for granted in the name of jesus christ please be seated for a few minutes i just have a brief charge this morning for lorun shaw my god for lorun shaw what is this i want to take time and preach the word but the lord is speaking to me again i'm hearing the name for lorun shaw who is that For Lorun Shaw. Those exact names. I will pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. There's someone with the name For Lorun Shaw. I just want to pray for you. If you're following online, you can indicate that you're following online or any of the centers. But the Lord is saying that death is averted for the person with this name, for Lauren Shaw. We are ministers of life and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Using this name as a point of contact to anyone here. If there is any spirit following you, to not let you rest until you go down to the grave. We decree and declare by reason of this service this morning, you part ways with death completely. In the name of Jesus, my friend, I pray for you. May the Lord show you mercy. May he lift you. May he honor you. He will grant you the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Good morning again. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I count it an honor one more time to be able to bring a final word from the Lord this service luke chapter 19 please from verse 41 yesterday at my session we began to consider the fact that multiplication is part of the the indices for dominion that in giving the dominion mandate as revealed from genesis 1 and verse 28 it says be fruitful multiply so multiplication is a requirement for every believer and everything that God created. I told you that in God's character, he does not bring harvests initially. Everything always comes as a seed alongside the grace for multiplication. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And we examine scriptures from the life of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and how that a sworn blessing came upon them that included multiplication every time god declared a blessing upon men it was always captured in his pronunciations and his decrees the grace for multiplication amen this morning i just want to show us one key from scripture jesus wept over jerusalem and he said oh jerusalem jerusalem verse 42 it says, if you had known, 
even in this your day the things that make for your peace this was the reason why he wept twice the bible records that jesus wept the first was in john eleven thirty five 35 at the grave of lazarus the bible says jesus wept and they saw him weeping and say oh how he loved him and then the second occasion we find here jesus weeping over the ignorance of men wept over jerusalem and said if only you have known this day the things that make for your peace the things that make for your wholeness the things that make for your your perfection he says but now they are hidden from your eyes you now see the reason why paul prayed a prayer in ephesians chapter 1 over the church in ephesus bowing his knees to the father of our lord jesus christ it says that he will grant you the spirit of wisdom and revelation the eyes of your understanding being enlightened amplified says flooded with light that you may know knowledge is very important in this kingdom we rise up in this kingdom by revelation i went up by revelation hallelujah and so it is important that we like spiritual archaeologists continue to search for the keys we call them mysteries the mysteries that control results last time i was here i spoke about the fact that god is a god of systems and that there is a name he is called jesus the way the authorized methodology of the kingdom god's way of obtaining results it's not only important for us to desire results it is important for us to know how to obtain results are we together it says the labor of the fool weary yet every one of them because he does not know the road to the city Ephesians 4 18 having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their mind so Paul teaching the church in Colossae in chapter 1 Colossians 1 and verse 9 he began to pray that they be filled with three dimensions of knowledge number one that they be filled with the knowledge of his will number two all the dimensions of wisdom and number three spiritual understanding are we blessed psalm 82 from verse 5 they know not the bible says neither will they understand it says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says i have said in spite of that tragedy i have said ye are gods and all not some of you are children of the most high the tragedy is in the next verse it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes light is very important john 1 5 it says and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not it is truly as far as your eyes can see not as far as is available as far as your eyes can see isaiah 60 and verse 1 arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you i like to quote it all the time from amplified it says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new life we must pant after knowledge we must pant after knowledge knowledge and illumination that is enough to turn every night today a candlestick can bring light but not enough to make nights to become day the little phone on the little light on your phone may give you some level of illumination but not enough to turn your night to day the secret of job's exploit is found in job chapter 29 the first four or five verses it says oh that i was in the days of my youth he began to contemplate at the height of his predicament he says when the secrets of the lord were upon my tabernacle he had two levels of light there was light that shined upon his head and there was light that shined on his feet the light that shines on your head is for illumination the light that shines on your feet 
is for direction. Thy word, O Lord, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. A lamp to your feet means guidance. A light to your path means direction. Direction tells you where to go. Guidance tells you how to get there. Sometimes you may not receive more than two or three directions in a year, but you need guidance every day. Knowing where you are going does not mean you will get there. You can tell me, open the door, turn left. That's direction. But if you tell me as you go down, you will meet a staircase. There is a skill to stepping down. That is guidance. The Bible says the word of God sustains the ability to both direct and guide. Are we together? An attack on your word life. An attack on your passion for spiritual illumination. An attack on your appetite for knowledge is a real attack. No matter what else you have, you are not secured if it did not come by knowledge. Knowledge is what gives security. Isaiah 33, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. You will fear your result if it came by luck. The Bible says, he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully. Are we blessed this morning? And so I want to show us just one key by the Spirit of the Lord and we pray that will help us multiply results in our lives. There is a reason why people experience certain levels of liftings and they plateau at a level in ministry, in business, and never seem to rise further. Luke. Let's start with Matthew. Matthew 14. Three scriptures very quickly. Matthew chapter 14 from verse 13. Matthew 14 and verse 13. The Bible says Jesus departed by ship into a desert place. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot into the cities. And when Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, the Bible says he was moved with compassion towards them. He healed their sick. Next verse. When it was evening, the disciples came to him saying, this is a desert place and the time is now past. Send the multitudes away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. Next verse. But Jesus said unto them, they need not depart. Give ye them to eat. This is a prophetic word from someone. You don't need to leave Jesus for your needs to be met. It is always in his presence. The disciples were saying, this godliness is distracting your people from eating. Allow them to leave you for a while and go and look for food. And Jesus said, it doesn't work so. If my presence cannot give them this lifting, if, if my presence cannot supply food, then it cannot be found anywhere. This is a word of caution. This is not my word. But it's already a prophetic word for someone. Because many times the devil will try to negotiate and say, you know what? Paying attention to Jesus is making you lose out in life. Why don't you leave him temporary? Time is gone. This was a discussion that happened in the night. Time is gone. You started this journey when you were 10 years. Now you are 40. It looks like there's nothing to show for it. You are 50. There's not, why don't you leave Jesus? And Jesus says, no. They need not go. Right in my presence, I will supply their needs. If it's not in your presence, if it's not from your hand, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. For everything I need is in you. Whatever would require you leaving Jesus to have it is not needed for your destiny. I assure you, no matter how glittering and how flamboyant it looks, everything that will require you leaving his presence, I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life. I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life i'll be here 
serving you all of the days of my life i'll be serving you all of the days of my life it's a commitment i'll be bowing down all of the days of my life i'll be here bowing down all of the days of my life the cross before me the world behind me no turning back no turning back the cross before me the world behind me no turning back no turning back martha martha you are worried and so frustrated about many things because you have been mentored into thinking it is when you leave his presence that you find these things no in his presence only there is fullness of joy and even the pleasure that you seek is found at his right hand. If you're with me, say amen. amen. So let's continue our discussion. I believe that was a word for someone. Please give us the scripture. Let's, let's read on. Luke. Matthew 14. It says, but Jesus said unto them, they need not depart. Give ye them to eat. 17. And they say unto him, we have here but five loaves. And two fishes. 18. Hallelujah. And Jesus says, bring them hither to me. Jesus is teaching us here the secret of multiplication. I thought the secret of multiplication was to give thanks. Alone. Until one time I was studying and the Lord told me, no. The secret of multiplication is not to give thanks. The first secret of multiplication is surrendering everything you have first. You don't give thanks with it in your hands. You give thanks when it's in his hands. Bring them hither to me. Bring your financial limitation to me. Bring the lack of influence to me. You do not have the power to multiply it. And the Bible says, 19. Are we learning something this morning? And he commanded the multitude to sit down. That is the first key to multiplication. You must find rest as proof that you trust me. It's not merely just saying I thank you in anxiety. Anxiety is sin. Number one, surrender your pain and everything to me. Put them in that alabaster box. Don't just bring pleasant things. Put your pain, put your disappointment, put everything at the alabaster box. You don't break it at my feet standing. He said sit down. If you don't have the patience to sit down, you will not eat bread from the master. I know you are in a hurry because time is gone. But find rest. Let it be that you trust me. God is speaking to someone. It's time to sit down. It is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late at night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. He gives his beloved sleep. He spent a whole chapter talking on worry. We live in a society that in an attempt to communicate responsibility, they end up promoting anxiety. People run from pillar to post. Woe betides a man who does not have the advantage of God's favor on his life. You will labor helter skelter and only return with pain as a reward. The Bible says to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise, redeeming the time for the days are evil. Are we together now? So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass. How many of you know a hungry man is an angry man? You don't ask an angry man to sit down when he has not seen the bread. All kinds of complaints already. Insensitive Jesus. You wasted our time. Now is night. We have children. The master commands, sit down. Someone is saying, Lord, I started a building project. It's not finished. I, I need to go around. I, I was told that there's someone I can meet and God is saying, sit down. Three hours will, with me will give you 
what a connection of 10 years cannot give you i want you to know the value of his presence and the value of finding rest there remaineth a rest for the lord's people next verse are we learning the principles so principle number one learn to hand over everything god does not say we should hand over only good things you hand over everything your pain your disappointment your glory your crown your shame everything so you come to him lord i see something that is prohibiting multiplication in my life and i come with my heart open will you help me i am the one you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me mercy. I am the one. You have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. By next week, this will be someone's song. That I'm the one. That you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. When people ask you, how did it happen? You will tell them, look, I know that I was diligent. But there is a part of this equation, I don't know who completed the gap. All I know is that I did my due diligence and God was introduced in the equation. From then, I don't know what happened. All I know, you see, you've heard me say that anything plus God is the answer he puts there. Anything plus God. There is no logic once God comes in. It is the answer he puts there. He can put five loaves, two fish plus God equals to feeding 5,000 men minus women and children alongside 12 baskets full. The Bible says, verse 19 please. He commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass. Look what he did. He took the five loaves and two fish and looking up to heaven, he blessed it. Some versions say he gave thanks. And he break it and gave the loaf to the disciples. Go and feed the multitudes. And as they went with thanksgiving, multiplication began to happen. Let me tell you this. Multiplication is always at the instance of genuine gratitude when you surrender everything to god when you find rest as a proof of your faith and trust in him the next thing is to begin to give thanks lord i thank you i thank you not god you gave me tea you gave me bread where is the jam to put on it uh -uh. i thank you that i have the hands to hold you know we live we live in a world where people are always conscious of what is left. Lord, you have done this. Thank you. We, we quickly breeze it. Lord, when will you bring this? And he says, is this your perception of my goodness? Even as humans, there are people you will give 10 naira, 100 naira. And the way they tell you thank you, you feel, you feel very evil for giving them 100 naira. You are compelled to step up that amount because that level of gratitude outweighs the benevolence. It's like a debt you owe them again. Have you blessed someone and then he tells you 100 naira, he tells you thanks. 10,000, he says thanks. 100,000, he says thanks. 1 million, he says thanks. Is that a wise man? It took different levels of effort to produce that amount. And the possibilities that those amounts can produce are not the same. Your thanksgiving is not complete until the benevolent person, the one who gave that thanks, perceives that you are grateful. Your thanksgiving is not as you want. You keep thanking and looking at the person you are thanking until he perceives that your thanks matches his benevolence. You should not stop. So when you come to God for giving you life, for giving you grace, for giving you children, for giving you this, you've been complaining about a two-bedroom flat and say, Lord, thanks in one minute. And you use three hours to complain. He says, wow. But someone will hold a loaf of bread 
and keep it down and roll and almost roll on the bread and God says you are doing this for bread you are ready for the next level and he opens him up multiplication Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 it says trust in the Lord with all your heart is the word bata it means throw yourself and expect him to hold you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding verse verse 6 is the secret in all your ways acknowledge him one of the principal ways of acknowledging god is giving thanks to acknowledge means to ascribe worth to acknowledge means to give the person an impression of value and usefulness are we learning something this morning in all your ways acknowledge him it's one of the mysteries in the kingdom that every time you meet a wall in your life every time you come before an obstacle every time you feel limited at the current level stop talking about the limitation turn back and draw from the archives of what god did yesterday the only way to move forward is to look back and say father thank you when when david stood before goliath he reached down to the archives of god's goodness and says the god who delivered the bear and the lion to my hands that same god many times we forget the things that god did yesterday and we stand before our desires and we keep yelling at heaven are you not god don't bring shame to your name and so on and so forth and then god is looking at us and wondering but someone stands before god and says lord i am grateful i'm trusting god that my children will get admission my first gratitude is that i have children i never had to wait one day for a child lord i thank you and whilst you are thanking god he says don't talk about the admission issue again it was covered already in your praise that you acknowledge me your praise can spread wide enough to cover your requests hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.